you've got a given force of 400 Newton being applied uh, to the frame at 20 degrees, so 20 degrees. Find the moment of the force at A. So we need to find force here. So let us see the possibilities of solving this. I've got my force line and I want the perpendicular distance. I want this perpendicular distance. Mm, is this an easy way or I can resolve this into two forces. That's my Y component. And this is my X component. So I've got two ways of doing it. I can resolve this into two components. That's X, Y. Okay, so normally remember, when you resolve it in X, Y, you will have this as Y and this as X. This Y is not being applied here. Both your X, Y are applied at this point here. So my X comp Y component is here, F, Y, and my X component is also here, which is F, X. So to find the moment at point A, let us look at F, X first. So this is my force line multiply by its perpendicular distance, which is this one here. At point A, if I look at Fx, there's a tendency to rotate in counterclockwise direction. So I'll find my Fx into two, which would give me a moment. Then we look at Fy, that is my force line for Fy and its perpendicular distance from here. So Fy multiplied by three and the tendency to rotate, the Fy is trying to rotate in this direction that is counterclockwise. So let's now look at the, the uh, solution here. So, uh, plan, okay, so Fy, we've got an Fx. We've got the two forces, and we've got our moment given here. I have made a mistake here. Look at this. It is not appearing here, the sign. That's a mistake. Look at why we've got negative, because the force is acting downward. The Y component is acting downward. So I've got a negative force. My X component is also acting in the towards left, and I've got the negative here. So my forces are in negative direction, but I made a mistake. I did not put those signs here. Am I right? Uh, yes, sir. But again, like your moment is counterclockwise, no, so the moment should be positive. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, so you're telling it's me that yeah, the direction of the force doesn't exactly affect yeah, so the, the sign uh, moment. For the moment sign convention of. isn't dependent it's on the force. So, it's yes. yes. sign convention clockwise. And yes. Clockwise yes. 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 You're right. So, remember, when you calculate moment, it is not the the direction of force. It is the clockwise or anti-clockwise direction that matters. So even if your force is positive or negative, you will not use the sign when you calculate your moments. The moment sign depends on the tendency of rotation in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Is that clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, so it doesn't matter your force is positive or your force is negative. When you are calculating moment, you will look at the, the, the sign uh, depends on the uh, clockwise, anti-clockwise direction of the moment. When you do sum of all the forces along X, Y, yes, the signs are very important then for the forces, okay? 